Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about a favorite subject of everyone's, inch to metric conversions. Now I'm not going to get into which system is better. Uh, certainly in the, in the laboratory people prefer metric, uh, but in the machine shop the fact of the matter is that accurate work can be done in either system. The magic number that everyone needs to know is 25.4. 25.4 is the number of millimeters in one inch, which makes it super easy to convert between the two. Uh, now, they don't convert perfectly, so in the case of inches, you would generally want to round up to the fourth decimal place, which would be the ten thousandths of an inch. In millimeters, I usually round up to the second decimal place, the hundredths of a millimeter, although you may feel more comfortable doing thousandths of a millimeter. Whichever direction you're going, you're going to want to take 25.4 and either multiply it or divide. So if you're going from inches to millimeters, you're going to multiply. And if you're going from millimeters to inches, you're going to divide. So in this case, uh, you would take your inches and you would multiply it by 25.4 to get your millimeters. And you would take your millimeters and divide it by 25.4 to get your inches. So these two numbers, these are the exact same size. Um, six millimeters is 0.2362. There's a bunch of other decimal places that go on. But like I said, round it up to the fourth decimal place. So you can see I'm taking six millimeters, dividing by 25.4, and I get my 0.2362. And likewise, I can take my 0.2362 times 25.4 and get my six millimeters. I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.